previously on Jenny LeClue. to the bridge it looked like Jenny had reached a dead end she had no choice but to return to Susie's house for a comforting mug of hot chocolate I'd rather plummet to my death It was a terrifying drop to the rocks below. Surely she wasn't contemplating jumping across. Mom always says a great detective takes calculated risks. So let's do the math. The bridge is too weak for a running jump. Taking into account the strong tailwind, and factoring in my athletic prowess, or lack thereof, I could make that jump two out of three times. Not bad odds. Terrible odds. Well, here goes nothing. Uh-oh. Okay, maybe the odds weren't so good. And now she was dangling from a splintered plank one slip away from certain death. It's just like climbing a tree. Just don't look down. Don't look down.
Was this the end for our tiny hero? As her spindly muscles began to give way, an image flashed before Jenny's eyes. Her mother, dangling from a ledge, unable to pull herself to safety. How could she possibly save her family when she couldn't even save herself? I can't give up now. Mom needs me. Jenny had barely survived. Was she really prepared for the dangers that lay ahead? It's too late to turn back now. It might have been her recent brush with death, but Jenny's heart was pounding in her chest. That's not my heart. That's... CJ's compass! The needle is shaking like crazy. Jenny paused for a moment and listened. It was quiet but distinct, a constant pulse, mechanical, unnatural. Man-made? But other than the sound it emitted, this rock was like any other in the forest. Postcard piece. Curious. Something under there. Jenny had spent her whole childhood exploring the woods behind her house. But I've never seen this before. Then she remembered CJ's words. People don't see things they aren't looking for. 
She knocked on the rusty metal. Hollow, it's a trap door. What a strange device. The wires are connected to the door. metallic odor filled the air as Jenny peered into the opening. It sure is dark down there. Too dark. But I can't just leave this unexplored. I have to see where it leads. And so Jenny descended blindly into the unknown. short life, Jenny LeClue had never found herself in such a peculiar place. The town that once seemed a small lifeless pond was suddenly an ocean of mysterious possibilities. Equal parts terrifying and intriguing, it was... Incredible! Yes, an incredible mystery in her very own backyard. Jenny wiped away a thick layer of dust. <coughs> Jeez, how long has this been here? Clearly the equipment had lay dormant for a long time, and yet... It's so futuristic. Straight out of those comics Keith is always reading. Starship cadets and the race for space. It feels... Alien. <sighs> now I'm starting to sound like CJ. There must be a logical explanation for all this. But its purpose would remain a mystery. Jenny dared not touch its intricate interface. I'll just press all the buttons and see what happens. Oh dear. Jenny turned the dials, she heard something hidden in the static. A voice? But what is he saying? 
It's a pattern. It keeps repeating. Animals and numbers. Animals and numbers. People in the future sure talk weird. Was it a cry for help? A shopping list? Someone with extremely limited vocabulary? Whatever it is, it must be important. And so she transcribed it in her journal. Looks fancy. And broken. There's something stuck to the bottom of the ladder. It was just a blank piece of paper. Or is it? Jenny traced her finger over the page. She felt the clear indentations left by a pen. I know exactly what to do. It worked. One, two, three, four. It was a code of some kind. The world's least secure code. Please enter authorization code to begin. One, two, three, four. Code accepted. System authorized and on for activation. Magnetic transducer coils targeting. Rotation of the AX stabilized. Commencing experiment gate module 37. Safety margins cleared. Running at 54% efficiency. It says it's working, but what's it doing? Remember, a healthy employee is an effective employee. Please leave the station for your mandatory 15 minute smoking break. Decompressing spherical chamber. I should get out of here before my skin melts off. The boulders must have weighed a ton each, yet they floated in the air like balloons. <gasps> CJ said he saw a swarm of UFOs circling the Forgotten Forest. Was Jenny beginning to make sense of CJ's wild ramblings? I'm gonna need a bucket of coffee to unpack all this. It didn't look like much, but this treehouse had once been Jenny and Keith's favorite hiding spot. I could never climb up there on my own. Keith always had to help me. They schemed and planned and swore never to let anything come between them. Just thinking about him hurt. What was that? Steven! 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 What? Did you hear that? I'm telling you, man. Not this again. Something's out here. Something big. Real big. There's nothing there. 
but I'm getting some super spooky vibes, man. For the last time, Kevin, the radios are for emergencies only. That was lucky. I need to be more careful. The house was swarming with police, but she knew this place like the back of her hand. If anyone could find a way in, it was Jenny LeClue. That's Mom's room. The window looked a promising point of entry. I could climb the tree up onto the roof. But as Jenny knew, all the windows on the second floor were bolted down. Dad did it after a raccoon got in and trashed the place. Jenny could try to climb the tree. But I already see an easier way in. My room. And inside. My detective gear. But unfortunately, this window was also bolted shut. Jenny recalled the Christmas Eve when she had climbed down the chimney and discovered how difficult the jolly old man's job was. And dirty. There's definitely a cleaner way in. It's tempting. But Jenny couldn't risk being seen by the police. There's probably a sneakier way in. Not going in that way. What could the police have found inside her house? And if they found what they're looking for, why are they still here? The window was ajar. The frame damaged. Somebody broke into my house. That's my job. But who? The police had used the front door. Whoever it was, that's my way in. Out of the police's line of sight, the basement was her best entry point into the house. Except that window is locked, and all my lockpicking gear is inside. Dang, they've got the back door covered too. To get to the basement window, Jenny would have to creep carefully past the police officer. One false move and the game would be up. Hey! Who goes there? Caught! Jenny would have to think fast or risk being jailed like her mother. Here goes nothing. Uh... Steven! Please tell me you're there! What's up, buddy? I, I think you should know, and I say this with 100% certainty, that there's a... Spit it out already. There's a mountain lion out here! Very likely. They're indigenous to this area. What? Just don't let it eat you. I don't need any more paperwork. Oh, God. I think I'll just uh, head inside for a minute to, uh, to, to check on something. Phew, that was close. Someone definitely forced this open. Would Jenny enter the dark basement? Thank you for watching. If you like this video, press the like button and leave a comment below. If you want to see more gaming contents, press the subscribe button. See you soon!